On this episode, I'm building another Freightliner. <laughs> you serious? That's right, friends. I am building another Freightliner. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dave, you had such a challenge on the last one. Well, I did, but overall it was really fun. Even though I had to take several breaks from doing this one, I did eventually come around and finish it, and it was enjoyable, and I do really like how it came out. So, on this new one here, for some reason, it just mysteriously showed up on my bench one day, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, someone must have picked one up for me or whatever. Um, so I put it in the closet because, you know, I've got a bunch of, you know, other kits in the queue. And then a couple days went by and I came back into the bench and there it was on my bench again. And I'm like, okay, someone's messing with me. So I put it away again and I left the note on it. Please don't put this back on my bench yet. I'm not ready to do it. And then there it ends up on my bench again. I'm like, what's going on? The note was gone. I asked around. Nobody in the house seemed to know what I was talking about. So I put it away again. Then, all of a sudden last week, it showed up again, and before I put it away, I thought, well, maybe I should try to build another one. So, I thought... Oh, sorry, I thought I heard something. So, I thought again, and, well, I think I'm just going to build this one. And then, lo and behold, a few days later, it showed up on my bench again. So, at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm just get... Wait, what? Hello? Oh, sorry, thought I heard something again. Anyways, I'm just going to have some fun with this new kit and see where it takes me. Let it just kind of build itself. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, what? Hello? Hello? That's weird. Anyways. So, back to the kit. So, I'm just going to... I don't really have a plan for this one. I'm going to build it just out of the box. Maybe maybe do a few little things uh, different on it. We'll see where it takes me. In a, hello? Hello? What the... Stop. Okay, so I'm just gonna build this kit and see what happens. So let's grab some cutters and some glue and paint and get to the build. Because I'm going to be heavily modifying this cab, I want to make sure that the pieces are attached as well as they can be. To do this, I'm cutting tabs to place inside the cab on both parts to give it strength and make sure it lines up properly. Masking off both sides of the seam. After this, I'll fill the area with putty, let it dry, remove the tape, and then it'll be easier to sand down.
I'm using a sharpie to mark the areas in the cab that I'm going to cut the openings into. Once I do this, there is no turning back. to thin out these openings so that they don't look like cut holes in plastic and more like just ripped sheet metal.
a scary build or what? Eh, actually, this wasn't scary at all. In fact, this time around, I had a blast building this truck. When you start in on a kit with the knowledge that you're going to go way off the rails, it just makes everything a lot easier and more fun. Don't get me wrong, there were some challenges, but it had nothing to do with the kit or its shortcomings. They were all creative challenges that I had to work through to uh, make this physical representation resemble what I envisioned in my head. Some of the challenges were like, how do I make it look that way? Where can I find some skulls? What am I going to make the tentacles out of? And so on. Overall, this was a great exercise in problem solving, ingenuity, and creativity that made for a real satisfying build process. I am so happy with how this project turned out, and I know it doesn't really show that great on video or in the pictures, but in person, it just looks great. So growing up, I always enjoyed those movies where the car or truck comes to life. Movies like Christine, Maximum Overdrive, The Car, The Duel, all of those classics where the cars or trucks were the real stars of the film. So when I envisioned the Frightliner, I wanted to give a nod to those stories and come up with something completely original. In my mind, I think of this as a mashup like Smokey and the Bandit meets Stranger Things or Convoy meets Freddy Krueger. This truck just started off life as a normal day cab and then by some mysterious incident gets possessed or torn between reality and an underworldly entity that rips into the truck and starts to transform it into a truly frightening biomechanical nightmare. Yeah, I think I nailed it. So, let's get into some specifics of the build. So, with this kit, everything started off with the internals of the truck. I wanted the engine to resemble an internal organ like the heart of the machine. I started off by painting it red, then with various washes and highlighting, made it resemble a beating heart. I added the tentacles, which I made out of beading wire from the local craft store, and made them look as if they were coming from the inside of the engine block, slowly crawling and attaching and transforming the rest of the truck. Then I made cuts in the body to make it look like another dimension was breaking through into the physical world. I wanted this to appear as a very traumatic and chaotic event as the two worlds collided into reality. Inside the openings, I added some tentacles, some random gears, and a couple of skulls to give it an appearance of blood and biomechanical guts. The tentacles emerging from the openings are attacking and attaching to the exterior of the truck as the transformation of the Frightliner continues. I added so many details to this build to give it as much of a personality as I could. The interior is all black with a mix of gloss and flats, but you can't really see much of it because I also tinted the windows to make it look even more menacing. I added some chain to the side handles, and I also added chain to the back of the truck as well. The side mirrors are small street lights I converted into mounts for the actual side mirrors. We all know how challenging the side mirrors in these kits can be. I made the short stacks out of an old ballpoint pen that I gutted and then cut into pieces to shape them into the short stubby uh, oversized stacks that are on the truck now. I relocated and customized the airline post and added another skull that looks like it was impaled on it. I even made the drive shaft look like a bone. I just thought it looked cool. I also removed all the chrome and blacked it out or in the case of the wheels and bumpers I made them look like red anodized aluminum. I did this by first base coating them in a white aluminum and then painted them with Tamiya Clear Red to get that look. And as I stated before, I am really happy with how it came out. Now, since this was a custom build, I won't go into my normal pros and cons of the kit. I will, however, reinforce that this is definitely not a kit for beginners. But that said, if you experienced builders out there really wanted to get creative, this is a great base to build upon. In fact, I really hope that this build inspires others to take some chances and see what you can accomplish with a little imagination and craftiness. So this will conclude my custom Fright Liner build. I really hope you all enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed building it. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you've ever tried something like this. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It would really help out the channel and I would personally really appreciate it. 
So until next time, be safe out there, watch out for the Frightliner, and go build something.